What's up everybody, this is the Flannel Beard. Just wanted to give you guys a quick uh, run through on how to make rupees fast. Now rupees is our currency system, we stole it off of Zelda. <laughs> the, you know, rupees, emeralds, whatever. So anyway, um, to get rupees, you kill mobs and you kill players. You type in econ to see your rupee amount. Now obviously I'm owner, so I've jacked myself up a bunch of rupees. But anyway, um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to become a villager. You start off as a miner. Um, if you're serious about the server, uh, it's only 1,000 rupees um, that, you, you know, again, kill mobs, kill players. This is a PvP server, um, so build up and, and save up, and you can uh, get the villager rank. When you get villager rank, that lets me know, hey, you're serious about the server, so we're going to give you some nice perks. With villager, you can get, uh, you can tame pets, you can join a god, which is like our clan system, um, several other things. With this also comes quick shops. Um, you're able to then buy um, shops in the market, and you're able to make quick shops, which is what I'm going to show you now. Um, it's really simple. Um, there's really nothing to it. Uh, I'm not going to make you guys read this, but I'm going to show you instead what to do. For now, I'm going to go to Warp Market. Oops. Now, this is on the old world. I'm going to port this over to the new one that we have, but for now, I'm still going to keep this up for the next two weeks. The concept still applies, and it's going to be the exact same look, exact same layout, just in a different world. So, just keep that in mind. Um, what you're going to want to do is, uh, there's a couple ways you can do it. One, you can make it in your home, which, if you know you want a few people to buy from your home, they'd have to find your home. Warp Market gives you the ability to actually purchase shops. So I'm going to go to one that's actually made, and what you do is you save up enough rupees to buy a shop. So like, let's say right here, someone has bought this shop. Now, this whole entire square is theirs. They can change how the building looks, they can add whatever they want to, etc. What's going to happen is uh, you place a chest, and then you left click a chest with your item. I'm going to show you that right now, because I know just seeing it doesn't do enough for you. So let me go over here. Bloop. I'm going to do time day. Okay. Let's get started. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to start selling diamonds. So I'm going to come out here. Oh, you know what? I need to... I have multiple inventories, so creative inventories won't work the same. I'm going to do game mode zero. I'm going to give me diamond. I see I diamond. Ah, kill all. I diamond 64. So I have a chest, and I have 64 diamonds that I mined that I want to sell. Hehe. <laughs> so I'm gonna right-click my chest. I'm gonna take my diamond, and I'm going to left-click the chest like I'm gonna hit it. So I hit it. Now, if you read down here at the bottom, it says enter how much you wish to trade one diamond for in chat. So let's say I have 64 diamonds. I want to sell my diamond for. Uh, let's go real cheap because I know this is gonna soak up a lot, and I know I can make a good bit of money on it. So I'm going to sell one diamond for 30 a piece. So I'm going to type in chat 30. No slash, no nothing, just 30. When I do that, it'll make a quick shot. Now the items are supposed to kind of hover above the chest. For some reason they're not doing that, and I have no idea why, but I'm going to try to work up a fix for it. Anyway, um, as you can see, I'm selling a diamond for 30 each. It's your responsibility at this point to fill up your chest. So I have 64 in here. So I'm going to put them in here. Let's see. 65. So if I was a regular player, you know, just kind of walking along, I'd come up to the chest and I'd see that it's selling diamond for 30. I'm going to left click the chest if I want to buy from it. And it'll pull up the shop information. It'll show me the owner, what they're selling, how much they have of it, and uh, what they want to buy. Um, so it says enter how much you want to buy in chat. So I want to buy. I want to buy 30 diamonds. That sounds good. So I'm going to do econ to check my money. I'm then going to type in in chat how much I want to buy. So I'm just going to type in 30. I'll say I've successfully purchased 30 diamonds for 900 rupees. That's pretty much it. That's as simple as it gets. So if you mine a lot of items, you can just place a chest, left click it, and whatnot. You can also use QS slash QS. And it'll pull up kind of what you want to do with it. Um, you can change it to where you just want to sell items or where you can buy items. So let's say somebody has just a crap ton of uh, logs and you make a chest that's like, hey, we're going to take your logs, but we're going to pay you 10 a piece for it. 
you can also do that just in case you need some other items etc um, so you can buy you can sell you can set owners uh, you can change the price of it without having to redo the sign um, etc so it's really handy it's really good it's really simple we had chess shop before it was just too complicated for people to understand this is simple you place a chess grab your item left click it and you're done you type in how much you want to sell it for and that's it um, and if somebody comes along and wants to buy it you left click the shop and uh, you just type in chat how much you want it's done so anyway this is the flannel beard and I uh, hope you guys get selling and hope you guys get used to our player economy which is this is really an, an important process of we do not have an admin shop um, for this very reason and I feel like admin shops ruin the experience and bloat the economy and give people rupees too fast um, we really want people to have a sense of accomplishment and having these chests um, do that these little chest shops so anyway again my name is flannel beard thank you for buying